In ancient China, Buddhism was already very, very popular, but more so during the Tang Dynasty. During the Tang Dynasty, Buddhist monks that came back from India needed a place to store their scriptures, their paintings, their uh, sculptures, and this is exactly where the small wild goose pagoda and the big wild goose pagoda come in. These are the places where the scriptures and such are stored. And for the small wild goose pagoda here, the headmaster, the head monk, was called Yi Jin. This pagoda is located on the central axis of the Jianfu Temple in South Xi'an. If you are looking for a tranquil, more peaceful place to visit, this is definitely the place for you. This 1,300 year old structure is quite the building. Over the years, many things, many earthquakes have passed the region, but not once has this tower fallen down. Now, this is because of the design. It was made that way that it can heal itself. So once there was an earthquake and it made quite a big of a tear in, uh, at the bottom, but during the next earth earthquake, a couple of years later, it just slid back together, forming one hole again. What an amazing tower this is. The pagoda's morning bell chime has been known as one of the top eight scenes of Xi'an since ancient times. This bell would be rung every morning to pray for happiness, good luck, and fortune. <laughs> In the southwest of the temple area, you can find a museum dedicated to artifacts related to Buddhism that were found inside the big and small wild goose pagoda and in the rest of the Shanxi province. This abundance of artifacts and the vibe they radiate nowadays still attracts tourists from all over China and the world.